my name is AJ Pruitt and I am the author of the Anna Thalian series. I'm also a self-published author and I do my own interior formatting. And interior formatting is what this video and this series of videos will be about. Um, so I am going to walk you through all the steps of interior formatting from, I use one of my own books and I took videos from the steps of just having the text and not even having the text in the right font that I wanted all the way up until publishing. So every single step, each video will be a different step. So I'll go in depth into each step, um, as much in depth as you can. Some will be very short, like changing the font type, um, and some will be a lot more in depth, like putting pictures into your manuscript. So if you have any questions about interior formatting, watch this video, watch this series of videos. Also, I have a longer video that talks about many aspects of formatting, and it puts it all in one video so I will link that video below um, this video will be in a playlist once I get more than one video this video and series will be in a playlist but I will also link that long video below so if you um, so if this is one of the earlier videos and you don't find what you want yet you can find what you want in that longer video and you can always ask questions in the comments of course and I'll let you know if it's coming or I'll answer your question right in this video I'm going to show you how to set the margins for your book so right now I have I have formatted the body text except I have not set any tabs um, I have set the page size to um, 8 by 5 8 height 5 width um, and so the margins look really big right now because I haven't set the margins for the book. So you're going to go to the layout tab. You're going to go to your margins over here. You're going to go to custom margins. So if you're publishing with KDP, they have a web page right here. And it tells you whatever your page count is, what your minimums are for your inside gutter, for your outside margins with no bleed, and for your outside margins with bleed. Um, I'm going to do without bleed today. That's what most books are. Bleed means your pictures go to the very edges. Um, so you don't, if you don't have pictures, you don't have to worry about that at all. If you're not doing a children's picture book, you probably don't have to worry about that at all. Um, maybe you want to, but usually you're going to do without bleed. Um, so the book, I'm going to, you need to check your page numbers. So I need to go back, look down here. I have 38 pages. Okay, go back. It says 24 to 150 pages, so I'm going to be in this range. And I look at my inside gutter margins have to be minimum 0.375. That's okay. I usually like to set my gutter at 0.4. I may do it at 0.375 because this is a smaller book, and usually my books are longer. Um, they're usually in this range, 151 to 300 pages. I like to set my margins at 0.4. Um, and then the outside margins have to be at least 0.25 inches. Okay, so let's go back to our Word document. So here, right now they're all set at 1. So we're going to go back in and we're going to look at what 0.25 looks like because that's the minimum. Okay, 0.25. Gutter is said we had to set at 0.375. Bottom again, point two five. You want to make your margins the same. Point two five. Okay, margins. No, I did put a point there. Make sure you got all your margins the same, and then make sure it's portrait. We're gonna say multiple pages, and you want mirror margins. Okay, so mirror margins means it's going to look like a book. Um, see down here it's showing you where your gutter is, the darkened space down here is showing you where your gutter is. It's going to look like a book. Make sure you um, click apply to, whole, to, apply to whole document so it does everything um, and then click OK. And you see it looks much different now. So I think um, I'm going to go back in and change it because that looks pretty far out on the pages. Um, I'm going to make my margins a little bit thicker for this book. But overall that's how you set them up and you can always go back, layout tab, margins, custom margins, and redo it how you want it. That's how you do your margin. Remember this is part of a series. Please check the playlist to see if you need any other help with any other aspect of formatting and there's that longer video that you can look at that will be in the description below. 
always ask questions if you want to ask questions this is a difficult process to do your own interior formatting so please ask questions let's help each other um please comment this comment please like this video please subscribe to my channel please share this video and this playlist with others so they can find it too and have help too and thank you very much for watching bye if you want to know more about anathalian or ha pruitt please follow me on instagram at ha pruitt you can find me on amazon as an amazon author ha pruitt Please watch my YouTube channel and all my cool videos on my channel, H.A. Pruitt Anathalian. You can find me on the Facebook page, H.A. Pruitt Anathalian. You can follow me on Goodreads by the name H.A. Pruitt and the book Anathalian. Or you can go to my website where so much cool stuff about Anathalian is. The website is hapruitt.com.